Welcome to this next video in which we will discuss another inhaler, which is the other Foster or Foster. So previously we discussed about this one, the Foster Nexthaler. And in this video we'll discuss about the Foster MDI device. So this one, which looks surprisingly like the Ventlin. So it's pretty much the same thing if you look at it. And surprise, surprise, the way to take it is exactly the same. So with this one, they say you don't really need to shake it before you, you take it. What you may find is that, so first of all, it looks exactly the same. So like the Ventolin, it has this thing that goes in and then this delivers the dose once you press on it. Easiest way to do it, I find, is to put your thumb under and to press with two fingers at the top. Some people do it like this, but don't forget to take out this mouthpiece, all right? So this is where you would be inhaling the, uh, the mist from. So this, as you press it, it produces a little bit of mist. Hopefully you can see it. There we go. And the trick is to catch this as you're breathing in. <clears throat> So basically, just as with Ventolin, you take the air out of your lungs completely, and as you're breathing out, you sw you press on this and try to grab that as you're inhaling to the maximum point. So I'll demonstrate how we do this. Basically, I'll do this technique with the thumb underneath and two fingers on the top. So taking my air out, and slowly release the air. So basically, it's, it's said that it's best to hold your breath for 10 seconds if you can after you've inhaled uh, the Foster. But uh, do your best, okay? So I've, I've obviously done a little bit of a shorter uh, uh, breath hold for the purposes of this video. So what I did there was as I was, uh, so I voided my lungs and I, as I was breathing in, I pressed on this and synchronized my breathing in with uh, with the press on the on the inhaler, and that means that I ensure that I catch all the doses I'm breathing in. It's important with this thing, as with Ventolin, with salbutamol, with all the MDIs, so all these that produce a little bit of a mist. It's important to breathe in slowly and deeply. So don't don't do anything forcefully, like okay, because it will end up depositing itself on. On your throat okay so it's important to just slowly try to catch that in and deeply into your lungs okay so again things that can go wrong and please don't do that don't blow in it don't do that okay don't don't do anything like this that just comes out right so the, the goal is to get it into the lungs but people do these sort of things so that's why I'm, I'm making these videos actually and um, what else? Don't do it without uh, emptying your lungs first. So don't do it like this. Because it, it's, not, it's not correct, okay? So I'll demonstrate the right technique again, right? So emptying the lungs. Slowly release. So this should be it. As with other devices that contain a combination because this one contains a bronchodilator so something that dilates your bronchi and also a corticosteroid so this is something that lowers the inflammatory response so some of it even if you take it perfectly will be deposited on the back of your throat so it's important to take some water rinse gargle and spit after you use the foster okay because this will ensure that you're not developing any fungal infections on your throat so this was it with the foster uh, MDI. We'll see you in the next video. If you like this content, do subscribe. More videos are coming.